I'm now going to show you how to turn the speedy light on. So very simply press the power button and then we allow a few seconds and then uh, you will hear a click. The lid will spring open and we'll, the display on the screen will change. So the bar goes across here. The lid opens. And now we will see with this bar, this is an indication of the heat up time. It takes around about 12 minutes from the moment that we switch it on to bring it up to full temperature and ready for use. And this is indicated when the bar moves across towards the end and the display on the control panel will change to a series of numbers. So now we're going to cook our sandwich on the speedy light. This one's a ciabatta, which is filled with salami, mozzarella, tomatoes and basil. The result we're looking to achieve is uh, the ciabatta is going to be crispy on the bottom. We'll have bar markings on the top. The salami is going to be hot. The mozzarella is going to be melted. The tomatoes gently warm through and the basil wilted. So we place this onto the cooking plate. Pull the lid down. Press the program number, in this case, program number one, and the program starts. So we can see on the screen, our starting time was one minute, and within that one minute, we had 30 seconds of microwaves. So the icon at the bottom is indicating that the microwaves are on. After 30 seconds, that symbol will disappear, and then we're utilizing the top plate and the bottom plate to give the crispness and the bar markings on the top. The microwaves, of course, will continue to work, albeit that the power of the microwave is turned off. Because it's counting down, for the operator, it's very, very easy to see exactly what's happening. They will know how long is left on the cooking process. And because it's set in here as a program, every single time, the sandwich is going to come out exactly the same so you always have total consistency of the sandwich. At the end of the cooking cycle the lid opens automatically and our sandwich or panini is ready to eat. So if we take this one off now so we can see we've got our bar markings on the top, we're nice and crisp on the bottom and through the middle there, we can see the steam coming out there now. So we're nice and hot there. So it's warm that one through with the, uh, the, the tomatoes. The basil is not destroyed, ready to serve. We're now going to demonstrate how to use the speedy light. And this time we're going to move the top plate out of the way because we don't want the bar markings on the product. So this time we're going to do a bagel and we want a nice soft bagel. Um, if you wanted the bar markings on the top, of course, we can leave the top plate down. But for this instance, we're going to remove it out of the way. So we just gently push it to the top, which then creates the open cooking chamber here. Our bagel, which in this instance is American mustard, pastrami, smoked cheese and gherkins. Place onto the plate, pull the top down, and we're going to press program number two. This is demonstrating some of the versatility of the flex on the machine that uh, you can either use it with the plate down or with the plate up. So uh, effectively, two different offerings of the same product depend on how the customer wants it. So you can tailor it to your customer's needs if you so wish. Alternatively, if you're uh, cooking a lot of bagels, maybe through a breakfast service, if we ensure that the flex is off, then the top plate will stay out of position uh, for constant use. When you take one bagel off, you put on the next one, so on and so forth. If we were doing a mix of products, we make sure that the flex is on and then what will happen at the end of the cooking process is that the top plate will drop down onto the original position. So the lid opens automatically. Our bagel is now ready and we can see here from our bagel so it's a nice 
soft finish on the bagel, so no bar markings on this one. And we can see that it's nicely hot, the cheese melted in the middle. So the Speed Delight is very versatile. It can be used for a variety of sandwiches, toasties, but of course, any bread type can be used in this one. So in this particular instance, we're going to cook a quesadilla. Uh, this one is filled with guacamole, tomatoes, spring onions, red Leicester cheese, coriander. So very aromatic. We put that onto the plate, we pull down the lid, we press the relevant program number. So this one's quite a short cooking program, 35 seconds on this one um, and because it's a much uh, lower product or much flatter product, it will also require less microwaves in here as well. But something like a quesadilla would be perfect if you've got a theme night, for example, for a Mexican theme night, you could do a variety of these different products, whether it be quesadillas or maybe uh, burritos, something along those lines as well. So emphasizing really the versatility. So we can see here, again, we've got some nice crispy bar markings on the top, nice and hot in the set center. Again, ready for our theme night. We're now going to demonstrate to you how the perfect squeeze works on the Speedy Light. So for this example, we've got quite a deep sandwich, uh, which is a club sandwich uh, with uh, turkey, cheese, tomatoes, ham, lettuce. Um, and what we want to achieve here, again, is nice and crispy on the bottom, bar markings on the top, heated all the way through, but we've got lettuce in here, we don't want to destroy the lettuce. So if we put that onto the base plate, pull down the lid, and you can see, once we press the program button, the top is locked into place, which means we're going to get the perfect squeeze. So it will gently squeeze the sandwich, but it won't totally squash it. The advantage of that is that we can see, when we look at the sandwich, once it's been cooked, of all the individual layers within the sandwich, and we'll see with the total height of it, the perception from the customer is that it's better value for money because it looks like a, a, a much larger product than something that's totally squashed. Uh, so a, a certain value proposition that we've got within the sandwich there as well. Equally, it visually looks very nice. When you've got something that looks uh, very attractive, other customers will see that product. The chances are that they're going to order that as well, thus increasing your sales. So we can see that this one's counting down. One minute 20 was the total cooking time on this one which is certainly, for this type of product, three to four times quicker than you would experience if this was cooked on a standard panini press. It beeps at the end of the program. The lid opens. We can now take off our sandwich. So we can see we've got our nice sharp bar markings on the top. The level of the sandwich is still nice and high. The cheese is nicely melted. If we look on the top there, our lettuce is still nicely intact as well. So a nice, fresh tasting, appealing sandwich. We're now going to cook some wraps on our Speedy Light. Uh, in this instance, we're going to cook two together. So we're going to put those onto the plate, pull the lid down, press our relevant program number. People quite often ask, how many products can you cook at the one time? Is it limited to just the one? Well, the answer to that question is, how many you can fit onto the base plate? But in this particular instance, we've got two wraps that fit adequately onto the base plate. Sometimes you might have uh, something a bit smaller, could be some sliders, for example, in which case you could fit four on at the same time. The only difference uh, that you will need to make is um, changing the microwave time. So the actual cooking time remains the same because the top plate and the, and the bottom plate are still in contact, 
so the crispness level remains the same. We just need to increase the microwave level by a few seconds and then you'll get the same result as you would if you were just cooking one product at, at a time. And then we have two wraps uh, cooked within the space of 45 seconds. Vegan option, hummus, uh, Mediterranean vegetables and coriander.